My name is Tim Purnell, and I'm a senior from Champaign, Illinois, studying civil engineering. My sacred place at Notre Dame is the Leighton Concert Hall stage in the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center. As a member of the Notre Dame Glee Club, this stage is the setting for so many of my best memories from my four years here. It is where we rehearse and perform with concerts ranging from our Glee Club reunion, with more than 150 alums singing with the current club, to a physically distanced COVID performance that was live streamed with no one in attendance. While performances are where we see all of our hard work come to fruition, rehearsals are an essential part of the process that allow us to learn each other's strengths and weaknesses, enjoy each other's company, maintain diligence through dull moments, and remain grateful during times of difficulty or frustration. Then there's the music. We often sing sacred songs like O Sacrum Convivium, Domine Non Sum Dinius, Ave Maria, and Sole Regina. I often feel delighted by our songs. By that, I mean I experience an ineffable feeling of joy when singing them. My secular high school choir was the first place I sang sacred music. And it wasn't until later that I realized we had been singing mass settings and other Catholic prayers. Now, when I sing other mass texts and Marian devotions with the Glee Club, I feel my own mass-going experience is enhanced. But I also feel a connection to the sacred, no matter the physical setting. When I sing, I sing to the glory of God, whether it is in the Basilica or in Deepak, which has no visual religious icons and is not dedicated specifically to worship but becomes a beautiful sacred space when filled with the music of God. I am spiritually edified, even in an otherwise secular space, and I hope others are as well. So in this season of Advent, how can we nurture our own spiritual edification and find delight in the ways in which we connect with God?